welcome back to the channel my name is gorgeous of course please if you do like everything that is happening here why don't you hit the subscribe button do you think they should subscribe to the channel oh yeah sure you're doing a good job you know it tells a lot to be on a platform for a million of people to you know join that platform and amazing turn on the notification button and no hit on the subscribe what am i saying so confused because i'm so hungry i'm tired i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired just say endorse high schools africa by hitting on the subscribe button and i'll be so much grateful bro i was supposed to talk to you during your reign here as a head boy of the school yeah, i couldn't make it called activities you go here you go here you go here you go here but thank god thank god i have found him here at the school is celebrating the 75th, 75th anniversary and i found him could you please introduce yourself um, i'm okay 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 joshua i'll come again okay okay joshua okay no break the name i want to know the name and be able to it's pronounce it a k u o k o yes a okay okay of the chidonghen of abijun yes That's yeah chidonghen of what abijun 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 so you are you are a royal exactly exactly uh -huh. ah, and I understand. See, he has a very um, authentic name, like a like a like an original Ghanaian name, not uh, Michael, uh, Benjamin, uh, and Evans, and all those kind of. Do you really need? With my, my, I have a friend here. The way he hates those kind of names. His wow. name is Brighter Kuto. He doesn't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> Especially when he hears the name. Like a name like John, yeah. and then a certain white guy is calling his dog John. Hey, then they tie a pie. <laughs> so <laughs> he doesn't like that. You can you can you can use an African name to name an animal. Yeah, hey, you can't do that. Yeah. So this is this is something we, we all should subscribe to. Yeah. yeah. So you became the head boy of this great institution, Saint Mary's Boys School, yeah. here in Secondary Takrade, Apawa. Yeah. How long was your reign? Um, let's take it to be six to one year. How how was the how? What does it take for one to become a head boy of Saint Mary's Boys? Okay. In the first place, I think you need to apply for the position. It's hard for you to get appointed. You know, you need to apply. So here so, is no appoint appointment. It happens, but it hardly happens. Yes. Um... And taking the position to you must consider your religious dominion you know we consider catholics to be the head boys and fortunately or unfortunately the pure queen is not a catholic yes but he took the position you have to be a catholic before you can be a head boy here exactly why is it like that it's a catholic school it's a privilege that has been given to catholics they enjoy such a privilege so 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 if you're not a catholic and then you are capable you can lead the school you can break something really substantial you can make great things in the school they will not give you the position it is then that we need to consider you as an assistant to the head boy so you don't become the head boy no you can't become a head boy if you are not a catholic in this school i don't understand do you, do you think it's fair is um, it fair it's a policy and anyway the school's go, policy exactly not necessarily the school's policy when you go to other catholic schools I think that's the same. Is it across the whole world or in Ghana? Not necessarily across the whole world. Maybe in Ghana. Let's Can we review this policy? I am Ghana, so Ghana. Pro I don't understand. You know, as a result of cultural assimilation, they are trying to implement new policies. Yes. It has to be meant to be changed. Yes. Hey! Today, which you can condemn power. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's fair. What do you also think about? Do you think it's fair? Please put in the comment box. I want I want to have an extensive conversation. I have to talk to Father about this. Maybe he can explain it well to As me. As you just made mention of, you have to talk to Father about it. So I am not trying to say that it's a law that fathers are supposed to rule the college school. But then come to take profits. Let's just consider it that way. Father is the head. Yeah. Yes. So automatically. His prefects and everything should and also be Catholic. Maybe exactly. he can give me an in depth knowledge about that. Maybe I'm mm -hmm. very ignorant exactly. about something. Exactly. I, I would definitely talk. Father, I'll talk to you. Father, I'll talk to you about this. <laughs> <laughs> so that you begin to remember the DIR. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Repros, repros on that. He, 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 repros. Yeah, exactly. Why do you say that? You know, 
That's how you, you affectionately vibe. call him. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our father get a vibe. So you call him, does he respond to you? He'll just name? give a smile, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just give a smile. Amazing. Uh, when it comes to students <laughs> imposing a name on a teacher or something, <laughs> you can't spell it out to them that maybe you want it or not. We are just giving you the name, so you just have to accept it the way it is. Wow, yeah. but it's a boys' school too. So exactly. exactly, you just have to go with the flow. Exactly, amazing. It's an amazing person. What, what, what was your greatest challenge being the head boy of the? So you're not dealing with girls, it's guys. They have exactly. muscles just like they have balls. Exactly. Let me put it that way. What was the greatest? What, what was so hard about your your time as a prefect? Um, you know, controlling guys in a state whereby they are seen in their numbers is a very difficult task especially the aspect of the dining hall and assembly hall yes so sometimes it's hard for you to just use the lips but then so you have to use a cane sometimes um no <laughs> i'm so surprised eh? <laughs> not necessarily cane. you need to get the influence of authorities as well yes. okay delegatus non potest delegari yes no one gives power to someone without Forming the source of the power, so what needs to get them? That you can't run away. Latin. Wait, <laughs> what language is that? Um, I think it's my Latin. Latin, yes, exactly. say it again. Deligatus non potes deligari. I'm, I'm assuring you, this thing is going to become a flash competition. I have to ask <laughs> you in your school if you win it, if you're able to tell me the same thing, you get the money. The money, nobody's winning the money. You know, I don't know. And I'm not is a lawyer, and I've been working with him for long, so. I've been looking through his books and I just captured those law legal. So things. you're going to become a lawyer? We hope so. We hope so. Nana, Nana you mentioned the name. What's Nana the name? Kwesi, a pure who, who is that? He is the Abijum Chidom Ah. Yes. Nana Kwesi, a pure Amazing. So you became the head boy and then you're ruling this school. What's your population? Um. During your time, as as time we were only from theories were about 1,274. Mm. Yes, and from ones, uh, sorry, from twos, we had about 800 students, and from one, 600 plus. Yes, amazing. Yeah. So if you put them together, I don't know math, I, I would plus. never deny. I, would, I don't know math, 2,000 plus. 2, plus students. So you were handling 2,000 plus boys, exactly. 2,000 human Myself beings and with boys, yeah. and you are just one person. <laughs> you just asked to you, were how many? <laughs> we were 43 prefects. 43 prefects, yeah. amazing. Yeah. What was the hardest part? Like something you encountered that you, you were like, I have really regretted becoming the head boy of this school. A something that made you feel like, hey, I wish I can put down this position and become a, <laughs> just a regular <laughs> person. <laughs> Do you ever experience anything like that? No. 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 So your people were cool, pal. Um, Yeah. Let's consider it that way. You know, they are boys. And boys, too, all you need to do is to talk to them. Yes. You have to get that vibe with them. If you try to be harsh on them, you know, they would also repose against your power and stuff. So you need to at least have that good human relation with them and think you are good to go is there a point in time that you felt disrespected like you felt like hey this person has disrespected me let's, let's say a junior <laughs> it is never done here and it is never done here maybe i don't know much about the other prefects but talking of the three head boys hey no you can't try it. No. Maybe they can. Somebody, like somebody who said, they can. They you can. You can. They can say things behind my back. Exactly. <laughs> but not right in front of me. Yes. In my presence, you hey. can't do that. Hey. Yes. You have the right to to be afraid in my presence. Yes. You know, authorities are very supportive. <laughs> they support our work. Mm. So, and there is one thing in Saint Mary's: if you mess up, and we take you out there. You know, you it's a disaster. A, exactly. The disciplinary committee will deal with you. They'll take so, care of you. Exactly. So you wouldn't even try. As at um I don't actually remember the date, but then one student, I don't know, he did something and the DHP got angry. Yes. He reported the case to domestic, yes. And as you know, 
through the processes, it just came out that the boy has been dismissed. Yes. Because he disrespected and the prefect. Yes, Stop disrespecting people. <laughs> Your prefect, I'm, I'm warning you. Yeah. They served as a scapegoat. She served as the, as the scapegoat. And you know, it became a deterrent for students to you know, disrespect. Amazing. Now, you see, I want to know how you managed to work with school administration because sometimes um you get the chance to become a, a prefect in the school yeah. you're like you you give you a power position in the school yeah. but sometimes that power too it is really hard to 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 harness to work it out yeah because you want to do something you feel like i'm the head boy of the school and i have the right to do certain things in very the school well, and then you try to do something you try to give this command you try to punish this person or very just well. give a certain order and the school will come in and go like who, you, who do you think you are and all this kind of stuff how how was it like working with your school administration like the student body they want you to um to implement something maybe they want entertainment yeah. please it's saturday come and put the jams here we want to dance yeah. and the school is saying that no you can't dance you have to go and learn and then you are in the middle how 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 do you work that out with the school it depends maybe don't come and dance go and learn it's coming with an apparent reason yes but a case whereby you are trying to just deprive us from going out there to enjoy ourselves it is then that the head boy needs to come in maybe you write a letter to the headmaster and after writing the letter if the src secretary delivers it you will call the senior house master to call you to come to the office yes so when you get to the office you sit down you elaborate your points and justify your inclusion and you prove yourself beyond reasonable doubt as to why you need to conduct the entertainment yes. so if it makes sense sir exactly then they will give you the way if it doesn't make exactly. sense sir exactly then you go and join your student body and then you all exactly. go and learn exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it amazing what 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 has what are what what was your greatest achievement for this school for yourself and for this school my like, a, like a, as a head boy what i did yes um, or you and your team okay you know we had this speakers at the assembly hall and it wasn't all that perfect yes so as the wasi time was getting closer i sat down with my retinue we thought of it that why don't we at least get the boys together ask them for some contribution in order to purchase a new speaker for the oral english especially so we carried out the processes and then we wrote a letter SRC secretary sent it to Father and he gave us the permission to go ahead. Although there was a number of um, conspiracy, yeah, you know, it was wasi time. So a number of teachers were thinking that maybe they are collecting money to go and bribe you. Ah, get the yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. they are collecting money to purchase support for their voice. Oh, okay, yes, okay, they are okay, collecting okay, money okay, to do this. Okay, okay. So this here in the case that you enter a particular classroom and they will be like, are they in a WAPA, SP? And you just explain yourself to them and they'll be like, hey, SP, we GD. <laughs> they don't actually trust the people. Doubting Thomases. Exactly. <laughs> so we purchased the new speaker. God being so good. The journey was very grateful and successful. We purchased the new speaker and we used that for oral English. Again, during our time of crisis, you know, we had a shortage of drugs at the infirmary. Yes. Um, I called on one or two people yes to help me visit an office in order to yes and that's joker's complex service yes wow yes headed by nanato siekyoko himself and um edward siekyoko and um, he is actually the director for um muffin fans yes if you want at least good uh food food when it comes to animal food you visit that place it's located as at talisman or something yes in the Ashanti amazing region. yes located. he actually helped me to bring into this school and my mom to support it very well yes my mom supported and there is one model in ghana now she's the world miss university she's going for world miss university yes and she's Ghana's brand ambassador when it comes to coco yes amazing she's also influence and I was able to stop the infirmary with some drugs. Yes. So it was a great job. No, I'm smiling job. because because I'll be going to Ashanti region very soon. Oh, and then okay. I, 
I want to see where the farms are, then I'll go and take a crate of eggs. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> when you get there, you get the eggs. <laughs> Amazing. So now you're done with school. Now you're not a student. Mm -hmm. You're done. You are a small bar, St. Exactly. Mary's Old Boys Association. You've joined that great um, association. Yeah. Now there are head boys like yourself out there who have um, also completed school yeah. and they are doing things. What message do you have for them? Um, you know, it's all about hard work out there. Going out there is all about how hard work. You need not to get yourself into these social vices and stuff. Yes, you need to focus. It's all about hard what work. is social vice. These are the prostitution, the drug abuse. Those. Stuff. Yeah. So, so, so. Uh, oh, you let me leave it here. I don't want to go there. This. This I'm a, making a point. Yeah, you're making a point, yeah. but this is a high conversation because oh, if I say yeah. I want to talk about that, we will talk yeah. till till 4 p.m. Exactly. But it's okay here. And you're going to hand over very soon to um, someone. Might be, yeah. Your pre, no, genius. Your genius. Yeah, yeah, what message do you have for them in terms of leadership? Um, they come in to lead boys, a lot of human beings with balls. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, are you going to tell them? Tell them. I think I would consider respect for all people, tolerance, and then good human relations yes these are the key points the key point they should exactly. they should uphold in their heart some people do say that respect is reciprocal but then i take it to be a mindset it's respect not reciprocal i take it to be a mindset how, how do you mean explain mindset. you know reciprocal you saying respect is reciprocal simply means if you respect i would also respect mm -hmm. but here is a case that sometimes you go to a place and someone would actually disrespect you but you'll be like ah it doesn't make sense if we make it a reciprocal process over here. Yes, it's rather a mindset. That's what I would say. I really want to argue with this guy on this subject. <laughs> uh, maybe, yes, you can, you can raise that. Now, if you should go back to high school, yeah. eh, in any of the Af African countries, which country would you love to go to high school? Yeah, would you like to school there? Yes, across the whole African continent. Mm -hmm. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Yeah. You, you also like Ethiopia. Yeah. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Ethiopian club. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Guys, this is my time here with the outgoing head boy of St. Mary's. What is so interesting about this conversation? Put it in the comment box and let's keep talking.